that's extra content right there. That's happening. That's going to be like a blooper at the end. <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> What's up, everybody? Josiah and Gene Pool here. We are talking about Mass Effect. Now, if you're new to the franchise, you've never played it. Uh, Mass Effect Andromeda is coming out March 21st. Uh, it's not really tied into this trilogy. However, if you're feeling a little intimidated by the size of the games, uh, by the scope and the magnitude, don't be. Uh, we, we're here to give you five tips on why you should jump into Mass Effect. Now, I played it back in 2012. I worked at GameStop. Everyone just about was pre-ordering it, but not Sam Budzinski, which is odd to me. Anyway, uh, I played one and two in the months leading up to three, and I was hooked immediately. I'm a huge fan of the franchise. Um, basically, the, the kind of... The saying is, movies have Star Wars, TV has Star Trek, and video games have Mass Effect. Like, that's a pretty big company to be in. Yeah. Uh, Gene just started playing the games here. Uh, About two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Yep. You've crammed all of it into that time, and you're a big fan now. Perks of not having a job right now. Well, that's it. So, <laughs> <laughs> number one, uh, the first tip we want to give, the games are not overly big. So, you can run through these in a reasonable amount of time. Yeah, uh, my first playthrough... Uh, I did 17 hours on the original Mass Effect, uh, 30 hours on Mass Effect 2, and 38 hours on Mass Effect 3. And then I didn't like some of the decisions I made. Ashley. Ashley, yes. Mm, uh, Ashley, you're a shifty yes. one. Uh, I went back and I speed ran through 1 and 2 uh, before I actually played 3 the first time. Uh, I did uh, 9 hours on the original uh, and like 14 hours on... Mass Effect 2. No, this is really going into everything. So uh, in terms of that scope, you've got a lot of big open world games out there like Skyrim that take you hours and hours and, yes. and Fallout to, to finish. With this, it's reasonable to get through in a good amount of time. Uh, the second one we want to uh, point out is play the side missions. I cannot emphasize enough play the side missions. Yeah. I'm usually a guy who does not give a crap about them. They're, they usually feel tacked on in a lot of games. Yeah, they, they, right? they usually feel like a lot of a lot of stupid things like uh, go over here, talk to this person, get that thing, bring it back to, to me. To build the, the world um, up a little. I mean, right? a lot of the missions, side missions in Mass Effect do have that to them, but also a lot of them don't. I would say uh, the vast majority of these enhance your main story. Now, Yeah, the especially the loyalty missions from Mass Effect 2. They were optional. You didn't have to do... Though they showed up under your, your main quests, you didn't have to do any of those. But they were... You Very, want to do it, though. You wanted to, though. It's a, it's a big difference. Instead of being there, it, it supplements the story very well. It makes you want to care about the universe. And the writing for these characters is ridiculously awesome. Oh, God. Um, I've, I've like, never felt such strong... Uh, there's a pulse in these characters that yeah. is just so appealing. Uh, yeah, I, there, there, were, there were times that I may have gotten a little choked up because of a certain character's death. Yes. Or something like no. that that I he, wasn't expecting. He's not kidding. There are certain moments that are ridiculous. A few years ago, don't don't read it if you haven't played it. Andrew and I wrote an article at thegeekiverse.com and we talked about one of our, our saddest moments in gaming, and it was regarding a character in uh, Mass Effect. Now, there's multiple ways to play the game, so your playthrough could be totally different from yeah, Gene's, uh, from mine. It's it's all that, over. That the place. kind of brings us into uh, one of our next points. Um, the games are all connected. Your decisions in one affect two. Your decisions in two affect three. That's um, right. So uh, our, our third point is, is play on the, on the same system if possible. Now, you can get these games on Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, PC. Um, they're backwards compatible on Xbox One. Yes. Um, which Gene pointed out, you can get the collection for $30. Give or, give or take, depending on uh, where you, you go know. for a sale. Yeah. And, I mean, that's freaking awesome. Adam was saying that we can get it on uh, EA Access all free right now. So it's it's four ninety nine a month for their subscription service, and you really can't beat that because these games are masterpieces. Yeah. So play them on the same system. Your decisions carry over from one to two to three, and they're very meaningful. Yes. It's not so much like the Telltale games where it's kind of like cool or maybe that character is just kind of in the background. These matter. Yeah, if you do thing A, person B will die. If you do thing B, you know, 
person F will die, yeah, uh, or uh, uh, person uh, F lives, or it, it really the, depends. There's a lot of ramifications to this, the decisions you make, whether it's dialogue or the actions that you take in the game. Yeah. Um, and because you care about the characters so much, that's the problem. It, it's heartbreaking. And that's why there you was, went back and played. There was a few right? times that I restarted missions because things happened and characters died that I didn't want to die. It's crazy how much they make you care about it. So, you know, Bioware does a fantastic job of writing this universe. Our, our fourth point, save your game, particularly in Mass Effect 1. Uh, now, Mass Effect 2 and 3 have a really great auto-saving mechanism. 1 does, however, it it's not wonky. at the right time. So it, it could be wonky. 10 minutes down the line after a battle that you just barely scraped by. Yeah, it, it, the biggest thing I can tell you from just going through it and learning the hard way multiple times before I finally smartened up, after every battle that you go through, after every firefight, take the time and save your game. It really matters. And there's because no quick save option. Just, no, just pause the game and do it. You will save yourself frustration if, if upon you frustration. Don't, you're going to get another 20 minutes into the mission, no problem. And then you're going to die because of something stupid. And you're going to get set back to the beginning of the mission or yeah. half an hour. It's, and it's you're no going to hate life. It's no good, that's for sure. Uh, but they definitely fixed that in Mass Effect 2 and 3. Uh, they added quick save functions, um, which were really nice and convenient to use, but you could actually trust the autosave function in 2 and 3. One thing I can recommend with Mass Effect 3 and the autosave, uh, it is the best usage, <laughs> I can't believe I'm going to say this, of the Kinect. If you do have it for 360 or Xbox One still, if you left it plugged in, the voice commands, you can command your squad to go there, do this, do that. You can command it to quick save. Uh, really? uh, see, I don't have a connect, so I never used that option. So It's the best usage of that system, and I think more games should have utilized it. And unfortunately, we know how the connect went. But uh, moving on to our last point here, uh, it was Gene's idea. He, he brought it up to me, and I could not agree more. In the game, you are to choose between two paths, really. There's a meter, uh, like a morality meter. You can pick Paragon, which is, as you described, kind of like the Luke Skywalker. He's, yeah. he's the good guy, he's got good morals, it moves up. You can also make decisions that influence the meter to be a renegade. So more so uh, Vader for our, our best example. Yeah, our best you know, example, yeah. You, you go the opposite way. It matters how you play. Stick to whichever one you decide. Yes, whatever one you choose, whether you want to be ruthless, do whatever it takes to get the mission done. Uh, a lot of times it can come off as being a jackass uh, in the game, being really mean. But if you start with one, stick with it because it opens up dialogue options later in the game that are really influential and essential to use that completely change the tide of things that you can't use the specific options if you don't have enough points in that category. So if you don't have enough points in the Renegade category, you can't use that special Renegade dialogue option. And same thing goes for Paragon. It makes a big difference because it, there's no benefit at all to playing in the middle ground. No, None. if you if you mix and match like, oh, I'm going to be nice to her and I'm going to be nice to him, but I'm going to, you know, badmouth all these people. And you just, just willy-nilly just... <laughs> It helps. Picking and choosing yeah. where, oh, I like this person, so I'm going to say something nice, and he's kind of an idiot, I'd say something mean. Pick one, stick with it. You will thank us later. It will. Uh, it'll help influence some of the romantic decisions you make in the game as well. But uh, uh, yeah, we'll leave that the, for spoilers. Yeah, the <laughs> only thing I can say is if you're going like a renegade option, uh, the only person you really probably might want to be nice to and sacrifice getting those Paragon points for is uh, your love interest that's, in the game. That's true. That's about the only time I picked any Paragon options. Moral of the story is pick one, stick to it, play multiple times like you did. Yes. Uh, so uh, the other thing we just want to lead off or leave off with is Mass Effect Andromeda. It comes out March 21st on Xbox One, PlayStation 4, and PC. Uh, you and I will be playing day one. We're big oh, fans of it, <laughs> obviously. I already um, have it pre-ordered. Uh, I'm just waiting for it to be able to preload on my Xbox. That's right. That's right. I'm going to get the collector's edition for that. I'm very excited about it. Uh, so we'll be playing that on Xbox One. Uh, yes. We have a club. If you're not aware, there are clubs on Xbox Live now. So if you can search the Geekiverse, you'll find us there. Uh, all our members here. We've got Garvey, Trevor, uh, Adam is there, Bruner. If you don't want to join, I get it. But anyway, other than that, it's it's a fun time. Yeah, uh, so, it's a good you know, time. Come we talk all... with us, play some yeah. multiplayer games. Yeah, definitely. Basically. Um, so Xbox Live, 
Where, uh, what is your uh, gamer tag? Uh, is Kruger, <laughs> I-S space K-R-U-E-G-E-R. -E -E you got it right that time, folks. That was impressive. Uh, I am, <laughs> mine, uh, mine is Josiah's legend. You can find me there. Again, you'll just find us if you're in the club there. One thing I want to plug, uh, Adam is, has been doing a Let's Play series. Uh, we call them Geek Plays. So if you go to our YouTube channel, which you're on now likely, or you watch over at twitch.tv slash the underscore Geekiverse, uh, you can watch Adam playing the original Mass Effect. Um, he's jumping into it for the first time too, so it's kind of exciting to watch. But uh, as a, a member of Geekiverse, that'll be our game of the month for March. Stay tuned for all of the uh, news. I, well, yeah, it's going to be that or toss up between that and Ghost Recon, but It'll I'm, be Mass I'm Effect. pretty sure it's going to be Mass alert. Effect. Pretty sure it's going to be Mass Effect. For sure, and I'm sorry to say, not Zelda either. No, Ooh. listen. I'm I'm sorry, you Nintendo guys. I I, I respect you, but let the big boys play <laughs> on our big boy consoles. <laughs> With that being said, he's Gene Pool. I'm Josiah. Thanks for watching. Now, Gene, you're playing on Xbox. You're going to be playing this. Uh, really. Let's see, we got about a, uh, a month and a half here until yep. it comes out. What, uh, what's your gamer tag? Uh, gamer tag on Xbox is 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 space Kruger, K R U E. <laughs> well, uh, we'll we'll put it on screen for you. He's got all the funky. Uh, K R. No, I took I took those out. I took them all Did out. Did you really? Yeah, it's just is Kruger so now. So you just needed to spell it. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Uh, I-S space K-R-U-E-G-E-R.